The United States used missiles from jets like these to take down three unidentified objects over North America since Friday. The military admits in the last instance, their first shot missed. In this case, the missiles uh, land, or the missile uh, landed harmlessly in the water of Lake Huron. Uh, we, saw, we tracked it all the way down. Unlike a spy balloon from China shot down just a little over a week ago off the Carolina coast, the White House now calls the latest three objects benign. We do want to make sure that the Americans, uh, American people understand that uh, there's no need to panic. The focus is now on recovering the objects, the Coast Guard seen here scouring Lake Huron. The Prime Minister says there was a reason to shoot them down. What is very clear is they were a threat to uh, to a civilian travel to, to commercial airliners. Yeah, so this is a weather balloon that the government would, would use on their launches. Well Nicholas Jansen launches high-altitude balloons himself. He says they are usually designed to rip or blow up. If that fails, they might end up floating sometimes for months until they're destroyed by the sun or a missile. Anything larger than 115 uh, cubic feet of gas does require Transport Canada approval and would require things like a transponder on board. So aircraft will see it and avoid those balloons uh, automatically if there's an incident. The Canadian and American militaries admit they're now searching more closely for slow-moving objects. You've now opened yourself up to looking to seeing objects that are moving slowly every day and they're in the form of research balloons or things of that nature. The White House says no one has come forward to claim ownership yet of these last three airborne objects. And both countries admit they may never find them because the search area is so remote and the conditions so difficult. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.